Welcome back everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're gonna be making some garlic butter shrimp. I'm over here at AB's house and I'm gonna be serving them up a feast. So let's get into the recipe. Now to go over our ingredients, I got about two pounds of extra large shrimp. You can use medium, you can use large, you know, just two pounds of shrimp and you're good to go. You're gonna need one stick of unsalted butter. We got half of a shallot minced up nicely along with about five garlic cloves minced up. These were actually small garlic cloves, so in reality, I would say probably two big garlic cloves if you have big gar uh, garlic cloves. We got minced green onions. This is just for uh, topping, a little garnishing. Then we're also gonna need one lemon. Now the main ingredient of this dish is gonna be just bringing all these flavors together. This right here is Sweet Smoky Joe's garlic butter seasoning. Now. This is about two tablespoons, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just sprinkle this into the shrimp. And if I feel that at any point it's, it's fine on the seasoning, then we'll call it good from there. But, um, or you could just shake from the bottle. So once I got a good coating on the shrimp, uh, that's all we need really. All right, so we're going to take our seasoning. We're going to go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit on our shrimp. Actually, if you want to add some, some lemon juice to this or lime, actually, it, I have a couple slices of lime over here. Go ahead and add some lime juice in there. Kind of act as a, a binder, but it also adds some flavor to the shrimp. So we sprinkled a little bit of that seasoning in there. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a mix. Now I'm really gonna be adding the seasoning just until it gets a certain color. As long as it's got the good coating of the, the seasoning, that's all we're really looking for. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more seasoning. You know, I think it's gonna just take the whole two tablespoons. So let's go ahead and give this a mix. Now those two tablespoons and just a pinch of salt in the sauce, that was actually perfect for this dish. It was right on my palate. It wasn't salty, it was just right. But as always, season to taste. Now that you see there, I got the shrimp all seasoned up. Uh, we're gonna let this hang out for about five to 10 minutes. And so actually right now, we're gonna get to our saute pan and we're gonna start melting some butter. All right, so we have our saute pan. Now we're gonna go ahead and start this off to medium low heat. Now we're gonna let this pan come to temp. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of cooking oil. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our stick of butter and we're gonna let that melt. Now, the reason why we have it on low heat is because we do not wanna burn that butter. And we want it low because we wanna infuse some flavor into the butter from the garlic and the shallots. Okay, so as you can see, we got our butter melted. Now we are on some low heat. Now we're gonna go ahead and start infusing some flavors into our butter. So we're gonna go ahead and add our shallots, add our garlic. Now we're just gonna cook these in. Let the, let the garlic and the, the shallots, you know, release its juices and get some flavor in this. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and squeeze in a lemon. Yeah, this is the garlic, butter, lemon mixture. Really awesome stuff. You know, you just shrimp scampi, you can make shrimp scampi with this. But yeah, you add a little bit of cream to this, really pops, makes like a really nice sauce. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix all this together. Now we're gonna let this cook on really low heat just for a couple of minutes. Uh, we just want to get all those flavors from the garlic, the shallots, you know, and just kind of blend everything together. And actually right now, it'd be a good time just to hit a splash of just some salt. That's it, just a little bit of salt because our, our shrimp are actually gonna have some you know, sodium from that seasoning that we put on there. So now we wanna go ahead and set our pan to medium heat. Now let's go ahead and add in our shrimp. Now this is really, really quick. Shrimp cooks in like two minutes, like less than two minutes. All right, so just go ahead and spread your shrimp around. Let them start uh, cooking. Now we're gonna let them go like about a minute and a half on one side, or a little over a minute, and we're gonna flip them. All right, so after a couple minutes, let's go ahead and give it a flip. Like I said, this cooks really, really fast, y'all. Right now is a perfect time for you to check for seasoning. If you feel it needs more seasoning, go ahead and add a little bit of salt or some sweet Smoky Joe seasoning. So that's it. We're gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. 
Now just to garnish this, yeah, hey, look, the smell on this dish is smelling really, really good. I got some rice in the background cooking. I got some asparagus that I'm sauteing. Look, this and some rice is, is gonna be fantastic. So, now we're gonna just go ahead and garnish with just a little bit of green, just to give it some color, make it pop. But I tell you what, uh, I just tasted this and the flavors are on point. Let me tell you, that sauce is key. You wanna make sure that you get that sauce all over your shrimp. So make sure you go ahead and scoop some of that sauce and put it on your shrimp and then serve you up a couple big scoops of those shrimps and do not forget the sauce. Serve it up with a little bit of seasoned rice and some asparagus. That asparagus, all we did was just saute it in some butter and just a little bit of salt and pepper. But this was a fantastic dish. It's always great to be in the presence of friends and family. My boy AB, thank you so much for welcoming us into your home. And you know what? I had such a great time making this dish. Go check out my boy AB's page, Smoking and Grilling with AB. All right, so what'd you think, AB? Now we have tried it. We're not gonna wait for the taste test to get some of this awesome shrimp. Hey, hey, he took the word right out of my mouth. Hands down, it's already good, but you know what? We gonna go ahead and do it for the film. Cheers, y'all. Mm-hmm. Buttery, garlicky, lemony, spicy. Man. I don't have to say nothing. He just took all of the good words and I already spit them out there for y'all. Look, Sweet Smoky Joe's garlic butter seasoning. You guys gotta try this. This stuff is really good on some seafood. I'll leave all of his information in the description box. We got food to eat, so uh, if you, you got anything to say, AB? Yeah, I do. Check it out. I just want to say. <laughs> He's already done. <laughs> now look, I'll leave the full recipe, the link of the recipe in the comment section and the description, so that way you can get go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com, to get the full printable recipe. Anytime you got me speechless, bro, you know you did good. I got these recipes. They're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.